Good day everyone, welcome to JD's channel. Today, we're going to discuss another topic. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more tutorials. Thank you and thanks. Good day everyone, welcome again to JD's channel. And for today's topic, we're going to continue our discussion about uh, synchronous motor. So let's get started. So our topic for today is all about power flow diagram of asynchronous motors. So today we will discuss its formula and we will show the diagram and we will solve uh, problems uh, with regards to this power flow <coughs> diagram of asynchronous motor. So here is the diagram or power flow diagram of a synchronous motor. So here, as we can see, we have the uh, total motor input. Okay, this is the total motor input. So yung ating uh, rotor power that's uh, power input. Okay, so total power input. Okay, so yung ating rotor power input dito. And then, we have the stator power input that is PS. And yung ating sa rotor naman is the PR. And then, nagkakaroon siya dito ng loss. Which is yung ating natawag na stator copper loss. Ayan, yung ating PCUS. Then, this part is the mechanical power developed, which is PM. And then, dito sa after nito, merong uh, part yan, merong pa rin losses dito. That is the stray loss, or stray power loss. Ayan. And then, dito naman sa dulo is yung ating uh, shock power. Okay? So, based dito sa ating uh, power, power flow diagram, so, you can say that yung ating PM, which is yung ating uh, mechanical power develop. So, ito. Mechanical power develop na yan. This mechanical power develop na ito is equal sa dito sa PS. So, ito yung PS natin. Minus ito yung ating state or copper loss dito sa baba. Okay? Kaya, ang output niya is itong ating uh, PM. Okay? So, itong, nag, itong input. Okay? So, ngayon, nagkakaroon ng losses, mababawa siya. Ang mangyayari, ang magiging resulta is the power, uh, mechanical power develop. So, pagpas ko nito, nagkakaroon ng losses na cap, uh, state or copper loss, ang matita na lang is yung ating mechanical power develop. Next, ito naman is another uh, working formula na we can use sa ating mechanical power develop. So, mamaya magdamit natin itong formula to. So, the next, the power in shaft. So, ito, power or shaft power is equals naman dito sa ating PM. So, galing siya kayo PM minus, ngayon, nagkaroon ng losses ulit, or loss, that is, yung ating straight power loss. So, ang matitira na lang is what we call yung ating shock power. Okay? And, uh, shock power is also equals to ayan, so yung ating PS. So, di ba yung ito yung pinaka uh, bungad or yung pinakauna. Okay? So, pag minainasan natin ang uh, state or power input ng dalawang losses na to. Ayan. Yung ating state or copper loss at yung ating stray loss. Ang matitra lang talaga ang matik is yung ating uh, shock power. Okay? So, from here, minusan muna itong dalawa. Ang matitra natin ay ito. Okay? So, that is yung ating working formula. Uh, actually, class, uh, you can, ano, kahit ito na lang tandaan nyo, ano, ayan yung figure and maditiray nyo na yung formula. Ayan. Now, it's up to you kung, ayan, uh, madali naman din 
kadalang form na doon and itong ating pad, itong ating figure ito or yung diagram or yung power plan ito. So, the next one is ito naman yung ating mga formula ng uh, PS kapag siya ay a single phase motor tapos meron din naman tayo pagka ano pagka three phase motor ayan, so three phase motor so kapag single phase we have the yung ating E phase I phase and yung ating cosine theta or the power factor and pag P phase naman so three B phase I phase cosine theta or yung ating PF so ayan, ito ang magagamit natin itong ito yung mga working formula natin na magagamit kapag tayo ay nagsasolve ng problem. And then also, we have this uh, sa ano naman, stator copper loss naman kapag uh, single phase, ito yung formula natin at pagka three phase naman. And also, stray loss is equal to four loss plus yung ating friction and vintage loss natin. So, the next one class is Ayan, so yung ating uh, efficiency. Okay, so efficiency is equals to the uh, shock power or yung ating power out. Over ng ating, uh, yung ating power input. Power input natin is di ba yung ating uh, yung power sa stator and yung power ng ating rotor. Ayan. So, PS is the power input sa stator. PR is the power input in the rotor. Okay, so, yung ating uh, P, uh, CU is the, is the, the stator copper losses. Yung ating vista uh, is, syempre, yung ating uh, stray power or rotational process and then yung ating power sa shock is the output power in the shock which is yun nga yung ating output uh, power but remember class ito so uh, the power input of the rotor or yung power losses in the exciter will be taken into consideration only if the overall efficiency of the machine is determined Otherwise, it is negligible. Yeah. So, may mga uh, computation tayo na uh, P shock over PS lang. Okay? Since um, hindi yung uh, overall efficiency yung kailangan na. Kasi pagka overall efficiency of the machine, so uh, we will use yung uh, PR sa rotor. Okay? Kung hindi naman, so hindi na natin sinasama yung sa computation okay only uh, P shock over na P sub S or yung ating input power sa stator so the next one is the solving problem so yung ating mga formula class na na ating napag-usapan na discuss so we will apply those dito sa ating problem solving sample problem is 75 HP 600 volts 1000 RPM big phase Y connected synchronous motor has an armature resistance of 0 0.05 ohm per phase and the leakage reactance of 0 0.45 ohm per phase the efficiency at the rated load so is 80% uh, with 80% power factor leading is 92%. Now, determine the mechanical power developed within the armature. So, ayun, class. Ito ating mga given and we have a leading power factor. Okay? And a 92% of efficiency. So, this efficiency is that the efficiency of machine in the boss so, that is the 
the efficiency of our uh, motor. For the given class, we have a power in shock that is 75 horsepower. We have the efficiency, the given efficiency that is 92%, the power factor that is 80% uh, EV, and we have a system that is quite connected, and the uh, armature resistance that is 0 0.05 ohms per phase, and the uh, synchronous reactance that is 0 0.45 uh, ohms per phase. For the given class, we have a power shaft that is 75 HP. Then the given efficiency that is 92%, the power factor 80%, power factor DD, and the system is Y connected, and the armature resistance that is 0 0.05 ohm per base and synchronous speed actance that is 0 0.45 ohm per base and we are asked to find the mechanical power developed within the armature. The formula to be used class is uh, since the efficiency, the efficiency that is given is not of that uh, the whole machine so then Kaya ang gagamit natin classes, ito ay yung ating uh, power sa shaft over ng uh, power ng stator. Okay? And then yung ating wire connected system, so meaning yung ating high phase is upon sa uh, line current. Okay? O yung ating uh, phase current is upon sa line current. Yung formula na gagamit yan is yung na-discuss natin kanina that is PS over ng train. Phase cosine theta or yung ating power factor. And then for the uh, back EMF per phase, so alam natin itong formula na to. Ayan. And also this uh, formula for the mechanical develop or mechanical power develop that is 3. Ayan yung ating uh, back EMF per phase plus yung ating current, uh, phase current and then the power. Uh, so, the cosine and yung alpha, okay? As, uh, take note, our system is a 0 0.8 power factor leading. Ayan. So, let's go to the solution. So, finding the B phase. So, B phase is equals the uh, yung ating B line or line voltage over the square that we substitute natin yung ating uh, line voltage that is 600 volts so yung ating given and then squared ng 3 so we have the uh, value ng phase voltage that is and so 346.431 0165 volts so the next one class is uh, finding the So, PS is equals, so, from sa ating formula ng efficiency, so, nagpalit lang sila. So, PS equals sa power ng shock over ng efficiency. I-substitute natin yung mga value that is 75. HP itong ASHO uh, shock natin. So, multiply by 746. So, from HP, gagawin natin watts over ng 0 0.92. That is yung ating percent. Efficiency, so ayan, the answer would be 60,815 point uh, 21 watts. So the next one class is uh, finding the high phase since we have a Y connected system. So high phase or a phase current is equal to the line current. So, yung ating formula 
kanina. So, we will use this formula. This equals, no, ating phase current is equals to PS over 3 multiplied by our B phase yung ating power factor. Yung yung cosine theta natin. Ngayon, class, isubstitute na natin yung ating mga value. So, yung ating nakuha kanina that is as uh, 6,815.2173.9 watts over ng 3 multiplied by so, ito yung ating big phase. So, ito na lang nalagay ko 600 over ng square ng 3. Ayan. Okay. Multiply by our power factor that is 0.8. So, the answer would be I think it's equals to 73.4399 uh, and 77 factors. Yeah. The next one class is finding the theta at leading power factor. So, theta again is the positive inverse ng ating power factor. So, we have the same point A power factor to be. So, we substitute lang natin yung ating power factor dito to get the theta. So, 0.8 okay, cosine inverse ng 0.8 So, we have the value of theta that is at 36.869897 degree. So, the next one is, yan, substitute na natin yung ating mga nakuhang value dito sa back EMF per phase. Okay? At uh, 0.8 power factor leading. So, ito yung class ng ating formula. So, since siya ay leading, so we have a positive theta. Okay? Substitute na natin yung value ng B phase, I phase. At then, ito yung ating nabuha. Theta. Or angle. So, ayan, ito na yung ating B phase. And then, ito na yung ating I phase. value of our back EMF per piece. Ayan. So, the value is equals to ayan. So, uh, 364.3530832 per angel negative 4.4907 degree foot per piece. Okay? So, that would be yung value ng ating piece. So, the next one class is that, yeah, so we are ready to find this uh, mechanical power development in the armature. So, ang ating formula, again, class is 3 multiplied by the P phase or the back EMF per phase, the, the phase current, and then cosine yung ating alpha. So, since class that it is in the leading power factor. So, ano ba yung ating nagpagara ng patakot sa ating leading power factor? Uh, kung matatandaan natin yung ating equivalent uh, circuit for this. So, ito yung kanya uh, uh, figure. Okay, since ito yung alpha natin. Okay? So, in getting the value of alpha, remember the formula that is tan inverse B phase sine theta plus yung ating I phase uh, yung ating synchronous reactance over ng B phase cosine theta plus I phase armature resistance multiplied by armature resistance natin. So, uh, substitute lang natin yung ating mga value in dito class and then uh, inagay lang natin dito sa Alpha. So, ano ba yung ating magiging uh, sagot dito? And, i-substitute din natin yung mga value dito. So, ito na yung plus. So, 3. Multiplied yung ating A phase. Okay. Quotes uh, per phase. Tapos yung ating uh, current, cosine. And then, ito yung value ng ating alpha. Using this formula. And, uh, ayan. 
what would be the answer for our mechanical power develop? Wow. Okay, so that is 60,697.9393 watts. check the answer if we have uh, the right answers at the final answer okay so oh, same naman yung ating uh, nakuha so that would be all class and uh, See you sa next tutorial. God bless. Hope na you get, uh, uh, you get something and you learn something from this tutorial. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more tutorials. So, thank you class and God, to God be all the glory. So, thank you and... Keep safe for everyone. God, appreciate the best.